Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Prophet Benny Baker, and I've uh, got your weekly prophetic devotion. I got a prophetic word for you today. This weekend, we are celebrating Palm Sunday. Amen. Uh, we are one week out from Easter. Uh, what an awesome time. One of my favorite times of the year. Spring is in the air. In the Ar in, here in Arkansas, we're getting beautiful weather. And things are shifting, things are changing, things are coming to life. I'm so excited about what God's doing, and I'm excited about what God's doing for you. You're not coming across this broadcast by chance nor by accident, but I believe it's by a divine appointment. There's a reason that you're hearing this prophetic word today, and I believe it's just for you. So if you'll jump with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 21, going to read just a couple verses of scripture today, and it says this, just jump right in, Matthew 21, 8, and a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road. Others cut down palm branches from trees and spread them out on the road. Then the multitude who went before them cried out, saying, Hosanna, son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he came into Jerusalem, all the city was saying, who is this? Oh, there's so much in this passage of scripture. And I, what I want you to hear, three things I want to share with you just real fast over the next few minutes. First of all, they praised him. There's something about your praise that will change everything. There is something about, the Bible tells us to offer up a sacrifice of praise. There is something about a sacrifice of praise that gets the attention of God like nothing else. There is something about the, the a praise that you just lift up and you declare, you know what, I've been through some stuff, I'm going through something, but I'm going to praise God anyway could preach an entire message on a sacrifice of praise. I'm sure there were people that were in that crowd that day that didn't feel like praising Jesus. I believe there were some that didn't feel like lifting their hands, that didn't feel like worshiping, but they did, they did it anyway. There's something about your praise that will get the attention of God. But their praise, their cries made the, the, the town say, that this is number two, who is this? Who is this? See, there's something about your attitude towards Jesus that will make people say, that will make people cry out from their heart, who is this Jesus? Who is he? Uh, I want people to look at my life and say, tell me about Jesus. I want people to look at my ministry and say, tell me about ministry. Uh, at the end of many of our broadcasts, and we have just a little clip that just encourages people to know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. I would encourage you today, if you stumbled upon this video and don't know him, I want you to take just a moment and ask him into your heart. I want people who hear my voice, who hear this message, who hear the message that I preach, not just right now, not just in the pulpit, not on a video, not on television, but my life. I want people to stand back and say, who is this Jesus? Tell me more about him. And the last thing that I want you to want to share with you, number three, is Jesus is coming. Oh, since I was a boy, I have heard this message, Jesus is coming. I stand by it. I believe it. It is strongly today as I ever have in my life. Jesus is coming. Get that in your spirit today. Jesus is coming. Now, I believe that an angel's going to step out and put one foot on land and one on sea and declare that time shall be no more. I believe that. I believe that the, Jesus is going to step out on the clouds and split the eastern sky. I believe that. I believe that there is going to be a biblical coming again. I believe all of that, not taking away from that. But what I want you to hear today is Jesus is coming into your situation. As they looked down that old dusty road and they saw Jesus putting one sandaled foot in front of the other, walking down the cobblestone streets of the city, they were declaring, Jesus is coming. And as surely as he's coming again, he's coming into your situation. He's coming into your life. He's coming into your, uh, your, your brokenness. He's coming into your marriage. He's coming into the situation with the prodigal son. He's coming into your lack. And when Jesus shows up, he changes absolutely everything. Jesus 
is coming. Oh, I hope you feel the presence of God on your life right where you are right now, like I do sitting here in this studio today. I believe Jesus is getting ready to interject himself into your family, into your life, into your ministry, into your business, into your marriage, into every, every area of your life. There were pr broken people in that crowd that day, and I want you to know Jesus came to show them, I love you. He loves you today, my friend. Today, just where you are, began to cry out, began to show others the love of Jesus, and know Jesus is truly coming into your situation. Oh, I hope this word has been a blessing to you today. I want to take just an extra moment of time today and share with you that in one week, just as as you're watching this video, uh, we we will be uh, playing in the air one week from from this uh, this week from from you watching this. The Monday after Easter, we are going to be headed to Uganda. I'm so excited about this. We need your prayers. Please pray with us. Believe with us for souls. Believe with us for miracles. I'm. We've been praying and fasting and believing God for miracles while we're there, and I know God's going to do them, so you get ready because uh, we're going to have some awesome testimonies. I can't wait to share them with you. So pray with us. And uh, want more information about it, about it, go to BennyBaker.com and uh, continue to pray with us. Put us on your prayer list, on our daily prayer list. Uh, the, it's it's going to be about a two, two and a half week trip and man, busy schedule. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of preaching, a lot of ministering. Can't wait. Those of you that are here in the Fort Smith, Greenwood, Mansfield, Waldron, this area, this coming weekend, we are going to be at Vital church. Amen. We're so excited about this. Amen. Uh, uh, this will be our first time there, and we're believing for a miraculous move of God. I believe God's setting us up for something very special. I believe miracles are going to happen. Salvations are going to happen. Uh, lives are going to be turned around. We're going to release a word of faith that's going to change people. So those of you in the area, we, we've got this information on our Facebook. Um, those of you that are in the area, if you're close at all, uh, a church alive is worth the drive. Come be in one of these services. Uh, but this coming Sunday morning, 1030 a.m., the address is 3515 uh, Nine Gate Road, Greenwood, Arkansas. Go ahead and message me if you have any information or have any questions or want more information, but you want to be a part of this special prophetic encounter. Revival Sunday, Vital Church, Greenwood, Arkansas. Lastly, before we, we let you go today, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, if we've touched you in any way, if, if you're believing with us for souls, I want you to go by BennyBaker.com and leave us an offering. Go ahead and sow. Amen. Uh, so you're sowing into souls. The Bible says that he that uh, sows into souls is wise. So wisdom is sowing into souls. We're winning people for Jesus every week. People in person, through uh, live streaming, through uh, our international ministry, through our television ministry. We're winning people uh, on a regular basis, a daily basis with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Literally millions of people every week are hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we just want to thank you for being a part of that. But go ahead and go by our website and leave us a love offering. You can cash app us. You can uh, you can uh, uh, go through PayPal. You can mail it in. So many still send, send offerings in on a regular basis through the mail. Go ahead and partner with us. Put a demand on the anointing that's on my life for your prodigals to come home, for your lives to be put back together, for the blessings of God to fall on your life. Because I believe it, we're, we're good ground ministry. And when you bless us, God is going to bless you. So go ahead and become a partner right there on that PayPal page. There's a little button that you can hit and give an amount and hit that. It'll come out monthly, every single month. Just, you know, it'll just automatically come out. And that's a huge blessing to us. But it's going to be a huge blessing to you. Amen. So I encourage you just take a moment and do that. Once again, pray for us going to Uganda, believing with us for miracles, healing, signs, wonders, and salvations. This coming Sunday, Vital Church. Amen. Uh, uh, we are going to have an awesome time. So come out and be a part of it. God bless you. We, we so appreciate you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this, this quick uh, prophetic word. I believe it'll be a blessing to you. God bless you. This is Prophet Benny. And we'll see you next time here at Benny Baker Ministries. Now you go out and you have your best day ever.